I knew this was happening, and it was just a matter of time until we started seeing reaction from a lot of the European Tour Golf stars. Now, Martin Keimer has been the first to hit out at everybody, and we have his exact quotes in this video. Yeah, all I'm going to say is he doesn't sit on the fence. So guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to a brand new week. This is Bat9 Films and this is your place for breaking news and hot gossip. So be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell because I wouldn't want you to ever, ever miss any breaking news. Now with all these stories, when you put your comments down below, it's me replying personally back to you. So I would love to hear what you think on this matter. So we know Martin Keimer, right? Ryder Cup legend. He moved to the Live Golf Tour in June last year. And it's fair to say he got a lot of criticism. Amongst the likes of Graham McDowell, Lee Westwood and Ian Poulter, those four were seriously set for a barrage of, well, I'm going to say one word, hate. And at some points, it wasn't very nice from the media. But Martin Keimer has now responded to this. So just to put into context, I think why he has been so vocal is that last year he pulled out of the BMW PGA because he felt as though it wouldn't have been a nice place for him to go since he had all the criticism. So let's get into exactly what he said because the reaction comes and the discussion points come from exactly what he says. So Kaima has said this, everyone has come together, right? So let's show the world that and permit the best players in America to play against the best in Europe. I think it would be one of the greatest Ryder Cups if they made it happen. And why can't they? They've shown this with this deal that anything can be done, be done quickly too. So there's a few points I want to get into right here. First things first, I couldn't agree more with him. As a golf fan, and I'm sure you agree with this too, a Ryder Cup should be the best players in America versus the best players in Europe. Whether they've resigned from the PGA Tour, resigned from the DP World Tour, I just want to see, in Italy this year, in Rome, the best players play. And I don't think anybody, no matter who you support in terms of Live Golf, PGA Tour, a DP World, can disagree with that. So why can't they make that happen? He has put a bit of a sly dig in there in terms of the time. Seven weeks wasn't a very long time for Jay Monaghan to broker a deal. So we have more than that on the run-up to the Ryder Cup. Why can't we come to some agreement where anybody, the captains, can choose amongst... Okay, let's think about this logically, right? Each team has players that qualify. But let's say this, right? Why can't the captains have anybody they want and choose anybody they want for their captain's picks, regardless whether they live, regardless whether they're not. Because golf is going to be better for that. Who agrees with me there? Like, I, I, I think that has, has to be a scenario that comes true come September. I really, really do. Imagine those fights. Imagine the teams. Imagine how much animosity. Imagine how much fire is going to be in those matches. Now, I know Inter team could be a little bit juicy, but isn't it always? You might have that in any other soccer game or American football game or even basketball game, right? That happens. Teammates don't have to get on, but we want to see that rivalry between Ryder Cup Team Europe and Ryder Cup Team USA. Now, let's get into further what he said there, because I think that was one of the best things that Martin Keimer said. So he goes on further to say this. I'm really looking forward now to the reaction of all the players who said we don't want to play for blood money. We don't want to sell our soul. Well, now they need to move to Japan on the Japanese tour in order for that to stay true. <laughs> he has not sat on the fence there. Just think how many players said that, right? And I, I, what comes to my mind is the questions at the first event in June where the press were asking them, would they go and play golf in Russia? Would they go and play golf here? Are they happy with where the money comes from? Now, everybody is under the same umbrella. Isn't this so true? He, it, it is. Like, I, as I've said from the start, I'm not for or against live. I'm wanting the best players in the world to play week in, week out together. And that's the stage I want to create. But what 
Isn't it true? How many players said that? How many tour officials said that? And now they've got to eat their words. So, he doesn't stop there. Imacott carries on to say, I think you just need to follow your in intuition and what you believe. I stood up for my values and stood up for feeling in my heart. I was brave enough and stood up for myself to a lot of people, also here in Germany, who criticised me and gave me... I think you know what word I meant there. Funny enough, they have sent me a nice message since these announcements. Isn't it strange? Isn't it strange? Everyone's under the same umbrella. Money talks. Money talks. And isn't it even funnier that everybody who went to live was told, oh, you're only going for the money. Well, PJ Tour have just done it for the money. Furthermore, it is such a hypocritical world that we live in. So, it's even more important to make your own decisions. Don't judge too much because when all is said and done, you might do the same thing. The players are fine with each other, so I have no worries on that score. I have guessed the officials need to answer some of the few questions. I do feel a little sorry for the PJ Tour players who trusted everything that was said. But at the end of the day, you know, there will be a warm meal on their plate. Isn't it interesting? Now, I think he has made some absolutely excellent points. And I don't think whatever side of the fence you sit on, you can disagree with that. We've all criticised Jay Monaghan in the last week for being hypocritical. This time last week, we were getting, we were just thinking it's a normal day. Hill did we know, 12 hours from now, the golfing world was going to have an almighty shake-up. And I mean an almighty shake-up. And I think what we've seen here from a former Ryder Cup player, former US Open champion, former world number one, we can't disagree with. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on today's breaking news story. Let me know what you think, exactly what Martin Keimer has said here. Do you disagree? Do you agree? I would love to know what you think, so please do get down in the comments. Thanks for watching.